being able to go kind of different ways with the ball tonight. Like, is that kind of what you've been looking for in your swing, yeah. just approach-wise? For sure, yeah, just being able to, like, shoot the ball the other way, um, back it up, and still be able to, like, put something behind it. Yeah, I mean, um, if I feel like I can do that, I feel like my body is in the right position, and I can cover more pitches. So um, that's definitely something I've been trying to do, but I don't think my body was in a good enough spot to, to do that. So... Um, for sure, I think just doing that first at bat kind of gives you a little bit of confidence. How much like recalibration physically have you yeah. had to do coming back from this? Uh, more than I thought. Um, I think it's just building confidence on it, um, being able to rotate into it, lock it out on contact, and then just in the field. I feel like uh, I told Kirsten every day there's like something else that comes up on a play where um, I'm putting my body in a different position, and um, I think as the season goes on, just continuing to build confidence on it, and uh, I think that'll just keep going. Is it hard to keep perspective when you do kind of struggle as you're working yeah. through this the first month? Yeah, I mean, uh, obviously we all want to perform and uh, you know put up good numbers and help the team win, um, but realistically, like you got to take a process-oriented approach. Um, you know, we missed a year and a half full of at bats, so. Um, it's tough, but you just got to keep grinding. You got no other option anyways, so um, just keep putting in the work uh, in the cage and hopefully it eventually translates and uh, that's all you can really control. So that's, that's what I would, uh, you know, the approach I've been taking with it. Even if you're saying that's how nice the result feel? Like, how does it feel around the season? Yeah, I mean, uh, definitely getting results helps and, uh, you know, just trying to build equity in the season where you're getting hits and then you can kind of grow from there. And uh, I think, you know, that helps a lot. But... Yeah, you definitely want results um, when you're just grinding away in the cage all day and, and you don't get it. It's tough, but you just got to keep going with it. Uh, you know, it'll eventually even out. So baseball is 162 games for a reason. So, um, yeah, it all evens up. As our ball is kind of close, so it's almost like second base, like when it gets into the outfield in that RBI opportunity, like, is there like a sense of relief? Yeah. I came to this spot. I mean, do you yeah. have moments that they can kind of jumpstart and get forward? Yeah, for sure. I mean, baseball is so much mental. So, uh, you know, whenever you can get a big hit or even barrel a ball from out or whatever it is, uh, you just look for those little things over the course of the season, especially when you're slumping, just to try to keep building momentum and then hopefully bring it into the next day. And, um, you know, it's, it's a tough mental game, so you just got to keep going. Yeah, it seems like you've skipped a few different places, especially when we're saying basically how comfortable do you feel there, and mm -hmm. especially with how you're kind of moving out there? Yeah, uh, yeah, I feel really comfortable at second right now. Um, there's been no issues with my knee. Um, I think uh, yeah, I played so much over the last two years. I don't think moving back there was ever going to be an issue so much. So uh, yeah, and then just playing with these guys, being being with Freddie Mookie, talking with them throughout the game helps too. So uh, just keeping it loose out there for sure.